So, I'm very, very pleased to introduce our magic team. And uh, we'll have a little film, and we'll have uh, prizes and magic. And I have to say, it's a wonderful, wonderful project that we've done, Erasmus Plus, the language magician. And of course, we are so grateful to AWL, our Spanish friends, our Italian friends, uh, several universities, Reading, Westminster, and of course, Italian universities from Siena uh, and Perugia, and from Germany, Leipzig, and of course, we, the Goethe Institute. Now, the heart and soul, uh, the, the magic boss, is of course Roma, Roma <laughs> Schulz, and I think I'll pass on to her because she will present you how to do the language magician in the classroom. I even got two of the magic ones now, so you have, at least one will work, I guess. <laughs> and uh, magic ones are waiting for you later in the exhibition, yeah, so just so you know. And uh, we have prepared a tutorial, because that is the easiest for the teachers to just watch how things work, and this is what we would like to present to you today, and we present the English version to you. So yeah, let's just go. Assessment with a magic touch. Look no further than the language magician. Are your pupils learning English, German, Spanish, Italian or French? And is their school language or their mother tongue Spanish, English, Italian or German? Then check out how you can use the game. This computer game not only adds heaps of fun to the learning of modern foreign languages, but it also assesses your pupils' abilities in the skills of reading, listening and writing. When repeated, it measures progression and all without marking. There is also a module for assessing speaking skills which has been added to our website and completes the range of assessment opportunities. Using the Language Magician, you can evaluate your pupils' four language skills within two lessons. What do you need to play the game? Computer, laptop, iPad or tablet for each pupil, internet connection, one set of headphones per pupil. You need an access code. Go to our website and fill in the required data. Read the terms and conditions and agree to them. Within 24 hours of submitting your data, an access code will be generated. You need a data sheet. Prepare a data sheet with your pupils' names and give each of them a nickname. Nicknames must consist of at least three alphabetical letters. As a teacher, you open the teacher's dashboard first to create a session. Fill in the data, choose level one or two, agree to the conditions and set a new session by pressing new test session. A code with four letters will appear. Now you need to open this session on all the devices for your pupils. The pupils or you go to the website and open the game. A book appears and opens with a musical sound. The game is ready. Pupils fill in the four-letter code. Some teachers might wish to do this for the whole class before the session, also checking that the headphones are working. The game's opening page appears, and the pupils fill in their nicknames. Eve, E-V-P, Zara, Z-A-S, George, G-E-S, Oliver, O-L-R, Sheriff, C-H-P. They enter the game, and can now choose their avatar. This gives you time to check that everyone is connected to the dashboard 
and has selected a nickname rather than their real name. Changing names at this stage is still possible using the pen on the signboard. You can now press the start button. Lean back for a moment and watch your pupils' reactions. Their enthusiasm for the task in hand will not disappoint you. You can now follow your pupils' progress live on the dashboard. Don't forget to fill in the data from your data sheet while the children are playing the game. Thank you. So, the enthusiasm is what I could see today as well when a lot of people of you tried the game today. Can, you, can I just see hands who tried the game today? Wow, lots of people there. That is fantastic. And of course, um, you were the first ones who could play the real version that is online now. And this is the celebration we have today. And for that occasion, uh, we have also prepared a certain spell. And look, the game is in five languages. Of course, we have to do this spell in five languages now. Um, can I hand over to Stephen now? If I can find it. It's already on the first line. OK, oh, it is right. OK. So with this, the first bit's in English, we can do this all together, and then we've got a line in each of the different languages. So you're just going to have to recite it all together, but think very hard, because this is what's between you and a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> so off you go. Use your magic, cast a spell. Use your language, do it well. Let's create a wizard's power. Now we've got French and Italian and German and Spanish. Well done. Italiano. Incantesimo. Incantesimo.